A24 Warner Bros. Universal with almost a month left until the Oscar nominations are announced, the annual debate has again emerged will a woman be included in the Best Director category. In the Academy Awards' 89-year history, only four women have occupied spots in this field Lena Wirth Muller, Jane Campion, Sofia Coppola and Catherine Bigelow. A few others are feasible candidates for 2018's roster, which will, of course, be dominated by dudes. The Golden Globes didn't honor any women, but the Hollywood Foreign Press Association doesn't have any voting overlap with the Academy, so the Globes' predictive reliability is limited. However, Best Director shakes out when the Oscar ballot is unveiled on Jan. 23. The category features a parade of Alistairs. Even the less experienced contenders have secured Hollywood's respect. Which five filmmakers will find themselves honored as part of this year's crop? Here's the list of possibilities, ranked according to the likelihood of earning nominations. 14. Alexander Payne, downsizing Paramount Pictures The Academy loves Alexander Payne. Each of his movies since election, released in 1999, has earned a nomination for its writing, directing and or acting which would imply a bright future for downsizing, if it weren't Payne's most divisive film to date. In fact, many of the reviews are treacherous. And yet, the National Board of Review named it one of the year's 10 best. If Payne squeezes in, it'll be a symbol of his accomplished reputation. 13. Joe Wright, Darkest Hour Focus features Darkest Hour satisfies several boxes on the traditional Oscar movie checklist. It's a wartime period piece with actly performances and a methodical directorial hand, but maybe awards groups are drifting away from safer choices like this one, considering the film HASNT seen a groundswell in the precursor prizes. That doesn't bode nicely for Joe Wright, who was presumably seeking a mayor culpa after not being nominated for his Best Picture Contender Atonement. 12D Reese, Mudbound Netflix Mudbound was first deemed an Oscar hopeful when it premiered at Sundance in January and then Netflix bought it, raising questions about the movie's prospects among Hollywood's anti and contingency. But it's remained a second-tier favorite throughout awards, which keeps D. Reese's name in the conversation. The Academy's newly diversified membership could help give her just the boost she needs. 11. Patty Jenkins, Wonder Woman Warner Brothers Warner Brothers started plotting a fierce Oscar bid for its runaway feminist blockbuster back in July. So far, it hasnt proven especially fruitful. The Academy's resistance to big-budget tentpoles won't do Wonder Woman any favors, but maybe just maybe it will thrive if the ongoing U.R. misconduct fallout further compels the organization to honor a woman. 10. Sean Baker, The Florida Project A24 Untraditional in every way, Sean Baker represents Hollywood's new guard. HE's drawn to homemade stories about marginalization, told apart from anything resembling studio machinery. At first, the Florida project seemed a tad too small for the Oscars. But it has earned a nice little haul at the box office and performed exceedingly well on critics' yen lists and in pace-setting accolades. Baker has already collected a smattering of directing prizes, making him more than just a distant gleam in Oscar's eye. 9. Paul Thomas Anderson, Phantom Thread Focus Features Phantom Thread skipped the festival circuit, so it hasnt had to wade through months' worth of buzz. After finally screening in December, the reviews were effusive. And while the movie's lush melodrama seems a bit too offbeat and elliptical for steak and potatoes voters, keep in mind that Paul Thomas Anderson's two most offbeat and elliptical films Magnolia and Inherent Vice earned screenplay nods. This would mark his second directorial shout-out, following There Will Be Blood. 8. Martin McDonough, 3 Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri Fox Searchlight This year's Best Picture Race HASNT found a veritable frontrunner, and some have held on to the notion that 3 Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri could be the one to beat. It scored the Toronto Film Festival's Audience Award, considered one of these first bellwethers. But the narrative surrounding Martin McDonough's film has shifted in recent weeks, with many critics picking apart its wonky depiction of small-town racism. A respected playwright who was previously nominated for Penning in Bruges, McDonough may have to settle for a Best Original Screenplay recognition instead. 7. Ridley Scott, All the Money in the World Sony Pictures Here's the superhero this category needs. Hollywood types will eat up the stories of Ridley Scott scurrying to reshoot All the Money in the World with Christopher Plummer in the role originally occupied by alleged predator Kevin Spacey. In an unprecedented turnaround, Scott still got the movie out on time. A director couldn't ask for a better narrative.
Even if World ISNT Fantastic, the three-time nominee is considered one of the industry's foremost veterans and has validated his stature. 6. Luca Guadagnino, Call Me By Your Name Sony Pictures Classics We need to discuss how anyone can watch Call Me By Your Name and somehow not worship every frame's sensual effervescence. Luca Guadagnino's delicate gay romance is one of the year's most acclaimed releases. But without the added charge of timely political resonance, it will have to coast on its own merits. It's nice to say that about a movie featuring gay characters, but there's a caveat a different gay movie Moonlight won Best Picture this year, which could make it easy to brush this one off. Guadagnino has made off with umpteen independent prizes, but he was omitted from the Golden Globe ballot last week. 5. Gregor Gerwig, Lady Bird A24 In terms of securing a nomination for a female auteur, Greta Gerwig is our best hope. The direction in Lady Bird doesn't announce itself with a sort of grandeur usually spotlighted in this category, but the coming ifage dramedy is so beloved that Gerwig won't need any outsized visual tricks to convince us of her craft. SHE's pretty much guaranteed a screenplay nomination does that mean voters will ignore her direction? The Golden Globes did, but the Academy may be more proactive in avoiding signs of misogyny in the year of Metu. For Steven Spielberg, the post-Fox it's easy to take Steven Spielberg for granted. No one who works as frequently as he does churns out films this consistently reliable looking at you, Woody Allen. In fact, Spielberg dropped what he was doing and fast-tracked the post so its timely themes freedom of the press, female leadership, corrupt government officials could hit the big screen this year. It worked. The movie is Spielberg's best since, well, whatever you thought Spielberg's last great movie was. Lincoln. Munich. The Terminal. Just kidding. He has a Golden Globe nod to show for it. 3. Jordan Peele. Get Out Universal Pictures. Jordan Peele made the year's most important movie a socially resonant crowd pleaser whose small budget $5 million proved that studios don't need franchise tent poles to turn profits. Get Out is a masterclass in craft, built off the back of its twisty, economical script but crystallized in the visual language created by the sunken place. Peel has stayed on the press circuit since this movie opened in February, making him an issue and, to Guillermo del Toro, the shape of water Fox Searchlight a technical craftsman who has never been nominated in this category, Guillermo del Toro needn't look far to find peers who adore him. His reputation is that of a swell, huggable guy actors clamor to work with him. And the sci-fi romance The Shape of Water is del Toro's best-viewed movie since Pan's Labyrinth, for which he received a screenplay nomination. It feels like his turn, and he has the Golden Globe nod to get to him going, one Christopher Nolan, Dunkirk Warner Brothers Warner Brothers really wants to get Christopher Nolan this nomination. Seizing on the impressive box office returns Dunkirk saw in July, the studio has kept Nolan on the road. He has participated in umpteen industry QAs, and this month Dunkirk was re-released in theaters, borrowing a recurring note from the Oscar campaign playbook. The fact that he has never earned a Best Director nomination is just what Nolan needs to seem overdue in the Academy's eyes. The Oscars air March 4. These 16 women are vying for Best Supporting Actress in the 2018 Oscar race These 19 men are vying for Best Actor in the 2018 Oscar race These 16 women are vying for Best Actress in the 2018 Oscar race Download Matthew Jacobs Entertainment Reporter, HuffPost